Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about side chaining and I know online we get a lot of requests for like side chain compression, how to do side chain compression. And so I've kind of been avoiding it because there are a lot of videos about this topic out there, but I'm just going to finally do a really quick shorty video on it. So side chaining. So I'm not going to go into side chain compression. I'm going to go into just how to do basic side chaining with any plugin. I'm going to do it with uh, the stock plugins for Pro Tools. So you can, anyone can do this. If you have Pro Tools, you can do this. You can also do side chaining in other software, but I just wanted to make this accessible to anybody. So I'm just going to create a new session here. So wave, I don't need it that high. Let's see. Let's just make it 48. Uh, I like to check off interleaved. Okay. Cool. So basically, Okay, so I'm gonna do Command Shift N, which I've showed you guys in another video before. Command right arrow, and then I'm gonna do down arrow here while holding Command to get a master fader. And then I'm also going to create two new, uh, I'll do mono audio tracks. Okay, and so basically any type of side chaining, it doesn't have to be with compression. The concept of side chaining, all it means is that you have a plugin that's processing audio on a track that's triggered by the audio that's on another track. So for example, if I have this track one, I could have the audio on this track be triggering some sort of effect that's on the audio on track two here. It's bringing that level down as soon as the DJ starts to talk. So that can be an automatic thing. And so then the DJ doesn't have to be manually pushing faders around, right? So side chaining is really handy for that. So ducking is an example of side chaining and ducking is basically when you're lowering the level on one track based on the audio input from another track, right? So sometimes that's done using side chain compression. Sometimes it's done using other techniques, but that's an example of ducking. And then another example of ducking, which is a form of side chaining is like for example if your phone's playing music and then it plays like an alert like you got a text or something sometimes you'll hear the music will get quieter for a second but it doesn't go away completely so that's another example of side chaining of ducking and that's just because again there's two tracks there's the alert track and then there's the music track and the music track is being controlled there's an effect that's going into play on that music track when the alert track is played so the alert track is controlling an effect that's on the music track. And that's all side chaining is. All it is is you have track A that's triggered by audio from track B. Okay, so how do we do this in Pro Tools? So basically, you get to pick your tracks, right? So let's say this is, we'll use our examples here. So let's say this is the music and this is the radio DJ. So what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna make it so that when the audio for the radio DJ plays, the music will be the one that's affected by the plugin, right? Or by the effect that I'm doing. Okay, so here we go. We have a sound that's supposed to be the radio DJ and we have some sound that's supposed to be music. What I'm gonna do is because the music's the one that I want to have the processing on, because I want the music to essentially become quieter when the DJ comes in, right? Because we're talking about ducking, which is a type of side chaining. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick Dyn3 Compressor Limiter. And I'm using this one because this is the one that's stock. It comes with Pro Tools. So if you have Pro Tools, you have this plugin. So you can do this, this feature. Different plugins. Some plugins don't have sidechain capabilities. Some do. They all look a little different. You just have to Google it for the plugin that you're using if you can't figure it out right away. So here we go. This is our stock plugin. So what you want to do is put the plugin on the track that you want to have the actual effect on. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn on sidechain using the key button, right? So you're going to be like, hey, here we go side chaining is now on. So now this plugin knows not to look at the audio that's on this actual track. It knows to look at a different audio source, right? So then the idea is what's the audio source that you're looking at? So then you go here to the key input, right? Because someone decided somewhere along the line, I don't know why, maybe, maybe someone else knows and can tell us why here in the comments, but someone decided somewhere along the line that the key input has to do with side chaining. So here we are. Okay, and so then what you wanna do is you wanna pick a send. And so the reason why I'm picking a send and not picking the output is because we still wanna hear the DJ. So we still want the audio from the DJ track going out our main output, but we also want it to split and be sent to this plugin to control the plugin, right? So what sends do is they split that audio signal for you. It's like making a fork in the audio, sending some of it one way and the other of it the other way. So I'm gonna create a send and I'm gonna I just match that bus. So I had bus one, two. I could also do just bus one here since I just have bus one on this one. 
And then when you want to make sure that if you're making Ascend in Pro Tools, that it's not defaulting to uh, negative infinity. So I just held Option and clicked on it, and that always brings it up to normal, up to zero. Okay, and that's it. And so what you're gonna see here is that when I hit play here, this plugin isn't gonna have any activity during this section, but then as soon as this track comes in, which again is the control track, right? So when this track comes in, it's going to cause this plugin to start to process this track. So let's look at that. So not the most exciting sound examples, right? But you see how it works. There was no gain reduction until this started to play. And my computer is being a little laggy visually. I'm sorry. I have to clear some stuff off of it. It's completely full right now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's basically it. That's how you do it. And then you can just adjust the parameters as usual on whatever the plugin is. So if it's a compressor, you're going to adjust um, the compressor settings, right? You could also do this with EQ. You can do it with a bunch of other plugins. So, so yeah, once you know how to do side chaining like this, you can do it with a range of different plugins. It doesn't have to be just side chain compression, um, even though that's kind of one of the more popular ways to use side chaining especially in music so um go out there and have fun with that and thanks for watching and i hope you guys all have a good week thanks okay